I was woke up to a phone call this morning before I got started on my route today. And the brother was pretty much selling me CD sales ain't working. How you gonna tell me CD sales ain't what up, no feel? How you gonna tell me CD sales ain't working? So I'm gonna let y'all hear this phone call, get prepared for my morning, and I'm gonna break it down to you and let you know exactly why it is I sell CDs on the streets. No, ain't nobody really buying CDs, I'm okay. I ain't gonna lie to you. I've been in the music for over 30 years. No niggas ain't gonna buy CDs. The thing is, the, the new cars, and everything, ain't even got CD players in them. And then the thing is, that everything is digital now. Everybody can go and hear music on the digital thing. What you gotta do is, I gotta get the number for my boy, because I gotta get me some downloadable cards. And you just pass them for people for free. So how do you make the money from passing them out for free? How do you make the money from passing them out for free? Because when you give it to them, you got your other music on there, but with the download of the 99 cent. And then you can get more you can have it. And they're actually going to go download that for 99 cent? When they take the card that you give them, it's going to have all your information on it. You should have a website set up. You should have a spot where they can go Spotify, get the You got all this on the card. So it's like a business card, right? Okay. And it got the thing on there where they, when they put the card in, it put the thing in, it downloads your music to them. Then, then, then they hear a sample or something. And they're like, dang, that's dope. I want to hear my man. I want to hear what the fuck got. And nobody buys CDs no more, right? No, I mean, people were buying, but you ain't going to eat. It's dead. It's dead. And you ain't going to see the button that you would have seen. 20 years ago, 50 years ago, when we were slaying CDs, and it got dead for us. It was like near, near 2000, it got dead. So I see more money off Spotify, huh? Hey, no, you'll make more money off the downloadable cards. Off the downloadable yeah. cards? Yeah, downloadable cards. If I get the information from my boy today, I'll send it over to you. God bless that brother for that, because I'm sure that his intentions were good, and he was only trying to school a young homie in the game on what works for him and what doesn't work for him. But as the old saying goes, kindly let me help you or you'll drown, said the monkey as he placed the fish safely in the tree. Let me say that again. Kindly let me help you or you'll drown, said the monkey as he placed the fish safely in the tree. So let me break down the difference between my internet and my streets. I'm selling them today. I'm letting them go for five dollars. If you like to hear it, I got my music videos, my phone. I want to say, all I got is my card, bro. Indeed, I'll be out here holler whenever you all can. Right. Okay? Yup, yup. Now, as the brother said in the phone call, you will not make no money on Spotify. I, I asked him that purpose for me, but he seems to believe that the money is in the download cards. Didn't give me any reference in experience. I've tried selling a few download cards that I bought off CD Baby, and for me, it was a waste of time. So as far as the internet, for the last year, it goes like this. Spotify, I had 2,472 streams, which got me $7.32. On YouTube, I got 971 streams through YouTube Music, which got me $12.98 iTunes US, I got 2,294 streams, which got me $17.63, all giving me a grand total of $37.93. Now, I didn't add up TikTok. I didn't add up a United Media Agency, which I believe is responsible for Facebook music, and I didn't add up uh, Amazon. But that's pretty much the gist of one year selling music online for me through streams. I don't sell download cards because one, I want you to be able to listen to this shit immediately. And more often than not, folks do have CD players. Don't let these people fool you in thinking that everybody don't have a CD player. I got a CD player right here, right now. So to compare what I made in a year, streaming, I'm going to do a test and I'm going to see how long it takes for me to make one sale and how much I can make off that one sale right now. I'm at the gas station at the corner of Michigan Avenue and 11th. Uh, as a test, I want to see how long it will take for me to sell one physical unit at this location. So it's just a random gas station I picked. I'm going to start my 
timer, my stopwatch, right now. I'm gonna set this down. I'm gonna grab me some coupons. And let's see how long it takes for me to sell this unit. Mission of uh, Detroit's Holland. I'm selling them today. I'm letting them go for $5. If you like to hear it, I got my music videos on my phone. I produced them myself. I was hoping I'd get y'all on the support. Indeed. I understand, brother. I will be out here. Holler whenever you get a chance to, okay? Yes, sir. I greatly appreciate that support, brother. I really do, okay? Thanks for the love. Now, let's see how long that took. That took... Two minutes. Let me stop. Two minutes and four seconds to make five dollars. Sell one unit. It doesn't always go that well. There is the law of averages that one must consider. But my expertise makes it to where more often than not, I will sell a CD before I don't sell the CD. Indeed. I will be all right. I'll let whenever you get a chance, okay? Yep, yep. I'm sure that there are many ways that independent recording artists can make money from their music. For instance, you've got performances, you've got uh, streaming on the internet, you've got studio engineering, you can sell beats. My chosen profession, the way that I do it is, I sell my shit on the streets. What up though, y'all? We out in my album today, fam. It's called uh, Hooligan Rise, and I got 12 tracks. I'm letting them go for $5. It's good to trace it as much as y'all. I will be out here, baby. I'll let whenever you can. Yep, yep. So this is what I choose to do, and it works for me. That's the reason I do it, because it works for me personally. If you are a beat maker, and hitting the studio, and meeting artists at the studio, while you're there, selling them a beat right there, if that works for you, do it. If you're a singer, and you perform at a lot of bars, and registering your music with BMI Live, time you do a set you register with BMI live and receive royalties from that do that this is how I make my money would I personally recommend that anybody get out here and sell copies of their album on the streets no I would not it takes a special individual a thick skin to get out here and grind for example I had a brother who was all down for the grind just last year seen my videos and comments hey I want to get out here and start selling my album this morning he leaves me this comment you fucking quitter you motherfucking disgrace to the rap dealer cause that just goes to show that it takes a certain kind of individual to be able to get out here and take the amount of rejection that we as independent recording artists face anyway but couple that with meeting folks on the streets and selling your cds a lot of folks is gonna be uh, uh i ain't with it but as you get into it and as you develop expertise and as you find ways to get around people telling you no if you like me baby you'll get out here and you'll kill them and i'm a beast at it and it's due to years of experience in this i learned how to be a salesman back in 1998 when I witnessed a young lady who could talk old ladies out of their panties. I witnessed a young man who could sell a white male the Brooklyn Bridge. And those were their specialities. My speciality was gas stations. We were selling Advantage the Multi-Purpose Cleaner. Door to door. And that's where I fell in love with salesmanship. And if you love to hustle, if you love to make a deal, I'd recommend it to you. If you have thick skin. Until next time, folks, your friendly neighborhood rap dealer, Joe Quan the Hooligan. While this wasn't necessarily a selling CDs on the streets video, it was more of an explanation of why I sell CDs on the streets. I got some CDs on the streets selling videos coming up real soon. So if you like that kind of shit, subscribe to the channel. Also got some uh, music videos coming up as well. And... I hope you enjoy the content. If you do, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Join the email list at the website, joequandahooligan.com. Hell, even drop a monetary donation. It might help me get from the streets to the internet like motherfuckers are trying to be getting me to do for over seven years now. How do you turn this thing off? This is a Joe Quan the Hooligan production. Joe Quan the Hooligan.